pumps of JMP start with JPR dash, but it's the next group that tells who is it for. Well, JMP has a lineup for each of these brands. For Mitsubishi, it'll be uh, JPR dash MD or ME, dependent on that lineup. There's a lineup for Scania, and it starts with SC. The most common pump for Scania that the JMP makes is a JPR dash SC 50 IF. The lineup that JMP has for John Deere is actually quite a few and they all start with the JPR dash JD for John Deere. All the lineups, no matter what, you got Cummins, Cat, Volvo Penta, Scania, whatever, go to the website and in the search, even if you just do JD or ME or SC, it's gonna bring up what model you're looking for. And now with Cummins, we've got actually quite an extensive lineup for Cummins. Most of them have been re-engineered internally versus OEM because uh, they wanted to make a better quality and performance for the customer, longer lasting, versus OEM issues that are very common in the Sherwood models. So JMP also has a large lineup for Caterpillar for the engine cooling pumps. There's a lot that, that JMP covers, small and large for Caterpillar, which is nice. Very nice lineup, I like Caterpillar. They're very, very well, well built engines. Now you've got Volvo Penta. Okay, JMP has always had the uh, Volvo Penta, a good lineup for a diesel, but now they also have a six pump lineup for the uh, gasoline versions as well, which is really, really needed. So JMP just brought out, which is very exciting, a new lineup for man engines, the Fisher Panda and Kubota engines as well set up. So uh, Northern Lights, the JMP lineup for that is uh, JPR NL series. The great thing about uh, the pumps that uh, JMP has made for Northern Lights setup is that most of them have been re-engineered internally, again, just like for other brands, for better quality and performance.